guys, it's Tate for Gamers on Games, and this is going to be a little bit of a weird posting because we're going to be talking about the Geneva Convention as it would regard to D&D &D clerics. So, here's the thing. We're going to kind of back the RPG truck up, and we're going to back it up to, I don't know, 2nd Edition, because why not? 2nd Edition's a good place. I have fond memories of 2nd Edition. So, 2nd Edition, clerics, basically a giant walking box of band-aids with some armor and a mace. Let's face it, that's what they effectively were. I know they were supposed to be representatives of their faith, but when push comes to shove, the cleric's job was to cure light wounds, raise dead, and turn undead. That's about the scope of what you were Somebody goes, I've got an owie, and you go, all right, I guess I can't let you die. Care night wounds. So, that being said, they're effectively the medic of the party. Yeah? Okay, so, in a wartime setting, wouldn't it be very interesting to see the Geneva Convention principles of medics being applied to clerics? And what that means is this, that you cannot attack a noted, you know, signified, very well documented uh, combat medic without it being a war crime. Now, if they attack you back, if they're shooting first, all bets are off. But they are allowed to carry, especially in modern times, they are allowed to carry a sidearm to protect themselves and patients from attack. So, I think it would be a very interesting concept to run an actual D&D game where... If especially a war, like a, like a legit war between kingdoms results in Geneva Convention principles for clerics. And I think this would be a very interesting concept because, let's face it, yeah, they're going to be like, yeah, I want to get out there, I want to knock some heads with my mace. And you're like, whoa, 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 hey, you know, back, back the truck up there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Priest. Um, I need you to... Um, Cast Kirli Wounds on my sprained ankle. Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. And um, can you put the mace away? Like, hide it somewhere. And and don't swing it. <laughs> I think it would be very interesting to see that as an in-principle, in-game thing. Now, if anybody has ever actually done this, I would really love to hear it. I really want to read this. I really want to hear about this. And please put it in the comment section below because I think it'd be an interesting concept. I think it would be probably very interesting in play. And I think that you would have plenty of opportunity to still knock some heads as a cleric because let's face it, chances are orcs aren't gonna abide by the Geneva Convention. Neither are drow or hobgoblins or goblins or harpies or the illithid, especially illithid. Uh, you know, you're not gonna have dragons going, I'm sorry, you want me to do what? No, you can't kill our cleric. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit old and venerable. I've been alive for a thousand years. Can you speak up? Because I think you just told me I can't eat the cleric. Yeah, you can't eat the cleric. He's, he's, he's protected by the convention. Right. And breathe fire. <laughs> I think this would be a very interesting concept. I think that there's just so many opportunities, not only for just actual, just like real role playing uh, aspects. I think there's cool tactical aspects to this for the people who are like, I'm a war gamer, but I do enjoy my RPGs. And I think it would also be a lot of fun for people who enjoy a little bit more of a lighthearted campaign because I mean, seriously, there is just comedy abound in trying to explain, like, really lay out for, you know, um, I don't know, jeez, I'm trying to think of, like, the best, like, warmongeriest race that also has a little bit of honor. I, I kind of keep coming back to, like, hobgoblins, they, they, they are really super militaristic, but being like, yeah, yeah, I know we don't quite get along and whatnot, but can't kill Clark. Also, it'd be a lot of fun to see clerics in a combat situation, especially a war situation, with, like, vampires. Like, you just have a vampires leading, like, legions of the undead, and they're like, well, you can't cut the attack the cleric because, you know, he's the medic, he's protected by convention. And you get the vampire being like, 
wait a second, can't he do the most damage to all of us? Well, yes, but he's he's told us he won't. Right, wait, I'm, I'm not understanding again. I've been alive for, you know, 10,000 years. Can you explain to me again how, how he's not viable target? I just think it'd be funny. Okay, anyway, bye.